Trevor, anyway, moving on. And it's good to see that the good work that the media does gets reflected on this show. <laughs> you just keep stuffing your face or we'll help you stuff it. Um, Trev, uh, there oh, was a Trev, bit of a war of words recently with Ralph Ranick. Yes. Um, regarding one Anthony Martial. Uh, Martial has now completed his loan move to Seville, uh, bringing a temporary end to his time at Old Trafford. Did you think it would end this way? Or did you think he would still be stuck there, going into Callington and trying to show what he can do? No, listen, I've, I've, I've spoke to many Manchester United fans. I've seen enough displays from Anthony Martial over the last six and a half years to realise he's never going to be the number nine for Manchester United. I think he lacks enthusiasm, he lacks conviction, he lacks consistency on his performance and it's a shame really because he, he came to the football club when he was 19 years old after scoring what eight goals in 31 games for Monaco um, which is a minuscule of experience so it was a huge task for him to come in as a 36 million pound player yeah. and expect to be Manchester United's number nine he came with a big reputation with that comes pressure with that comes expectancy and with Manchester United in transition since Sir Alex Ferguson left I think he's come to the football club at the wrong time. He's not got much leadership around him. His performances have dipped. And I, I, I think he had quite a public breakdown with his uh, one of his partners. He's came back from there and he, he, he seems to have struggled. He's in a foreign country. He's almost grown up in front of us and I think he's really struggled. To be honest, Simon, it so shows... Every other reason besides the fact the player didn't do enough. He didn't do enough on the pitch. It, but it does show it's such a risky business. Uh, putting, I mean, United putting so much stock in this kid when he was a kid. I mean, he came in £36 million. He was yep. 19, as Trevor rightly says. Player, that at that time made him the world's most expensive teenager at the time. But the way United did it, they went right in because the fee could have risen to 58 million with certain add-ons, one of which was a single 8.4 million pound payment if Martial had won the Ballon d'Or. I mean, yeah, talk but, about going in, yeah. hoot, lying and sinker but, but for like, one But player. that's like saying you running a marathon. We know it's never going to happen. Right, so Martial I have run one. Really? Right, in, okay, when, where and, and at in what Glasgow, time? In Glasgow, the first okay. ever Glasgow marathon oh, well, that's in the not 80s. Good, well, well, I'll, I'll take that argument Four hours, then. 35 right. minutes. That's, that's like saying you'd run a marathon quickly. Wind assisted. That's like running a marathon quickly then in under a day. <laughs> right. 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 So if you, look at, if you look at young players, it all depends upon the player you're talking about. Wayne Rooney went into Man United as a teenager. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo went to Manchester United as a teenager. Jude Bellingham's gone to Dortmund as a teenager. It depends upon the player. And it depends upon how they adapt. Mm. So with those cases, of course, there's always more risk on younger players. Most but people it's too tell simple you, to suggest it's just all down to the players. It was just down absolutely. to Martial not well, you coming look at, up to You look at scratch. Rooney. You look at you look at the, uh, Ronaldo. You can even bring Thierry Henry because that's who he's been a likeness to when he right. first came. To, they are great players around him, and they are great coaches. Look at Arsene Wenger, yeah. how he developed. Manchester United has been manager, how, how long failed been manager, for? six and a half years. Okay, so he's had the Van Gaal. So we've had the Mourinho. He's had so many unsuccessful time managers at the I football know. club. And that hinders his development. You can't just point it at the player. Well, you, ultimately, you can make those contributing factors. But the ownership of an outcome is determined by the player. And his opportunity is created by him. If you've been there for a couple of years, it hasn't worked out. Or 18 months, like Wilfred Zaha went there. It clearly wasn't right for him to go to Man United at that time. And you can attribute some of that to the player not being prepared for the step up. right, And not being given the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. He's been given six and a half years. Six and a half years to get his act together. And, and he has done it at times. And six, well, clearly not to most people's satisfaction. Because ultimately, he's not really made his mark on any level. It's all been about what he can do rather than what he has done. And so you have to lay the blame at the player. In the same way you have to lay the, play, the blame at Memphis Depay when he came to Man United and didn't do what people thought he was going to do. Mm -hmm. And maybe goes to another environment and prospers in it. But there are also many examples of younger players that go to clubs and are successful. It all depends upon the individual player. And everybody will have adversity. Mm -hmm. To build something of substance, to build someone of character, you have to overcome adversity. If you it's always a one-way transaction, then the moment adversity comes your way, you will fail. I'm kind of with Simon on it, Trevor. No, there are a bunch of things that Martial could have done and didn't do that would have made his life much more, uh, I, I would have thought, progressive, if you like. I understand that, but I just think the lacking of experience he had, coming to a foreign country, the lack of continuity with his coaches, the lack of continuity with his position, one minute is on the left wing, next minute is number nine... Ne it, He's, he's had a difficult... The timing that he's come to Manchester United, and Manchester United fans, let's not forget, still expect to be competing for the Premier League every year, which they've not done for now, what is it, nine years. It's been a difficult time for him to join a great club, and I think he's suffered from that. Listen, we might see him go to Seville, re reborn, start playing well, 
loads of enthusiasm and make his name again a little bit like Dupai well, when I, th- I look into this as this Trevor Ranjik flexing his muscle for the long term so Martial comes and Why? goes he's gone right, exactly. I'll tell you what Va- Van der Beek um, not part of the plans in the long term he's going to go to Palace and I do hope unlike what Simon said quite unkindly I do, I do hope Van der Beek gets his chance and does well yep. uh, at Palace is this not the biggest clue yet that Ranjik is, 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 you know he wants to be there he wants to be there but it might not work out that way I don't think it will I think this is a huge sign the fact that both players are going on loan and not having a buyout option because they feel they want to try and prove themselves if they got the opportunity for a new manager. And that seems to be not Ralph Ranjik. What do you hear in the North West? I mean, you, I know you speak to United fans all the time. Have they taken to him, Trevor? I, I think they want to, but the, the football's not been great. It's it's not been exciting a lot of the time. The results haven't been great. They're back in the top four, but I think you would expect Manchester United to be the top four. That's not, If that's Manchester United's aims now to be in the top four, Wow. They've fallen a long way. I think Manchester United want someone to come in there and be competing year in, year out for the Premier League, for the Champions League and for all the other silverware. But does it not become more and more apparent that Ranjit wants it and he doesn't want to go upstairs at the end of this at the end of this spell? That he sees himself there? He's told everybody he wants it. Well, hold on. First of all... He has, Sam is right. First of all, Andy Martial told everybody he wants to leave. That's nothing to do with Ralph Ranjit. Andy Martial came out... On the on the on the cusp of Ranjit going in the door, saying he wants to leave Manchester of United. He did because he's frustrated. So with that in mind, that's not Ranjit flexing his muscle. Danny Van der Beek has been a really poor signing because clearly he has got nowhere near it. But in opportunity tra- signing. Well, in training, Trevor knows what gets you picked inside a team. It's mm. what you put on a training pitch to give the manager the confidence that you're at it, on it, across it, and over it, and that will give you the opportunity. And when you get in the team, you then you then lay your claim. And he's probably done neither. Just you know, and you've got lightweight managers like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, they easily influenced and signed him, right? So with that in mind, he already had an advantage yeah. if it's to be believed that he signed him rather than Ed Woodward, which probably is the case. So you look at this and say, Ralph Ranjik, in my view, is unequivocally making a pitch to be the manager, United manager. And there's a very, very, very good chance he will be. Because if he does lift this team, which was in a mess from the carcass that was left by Ollie to a position of fourth. That's not their ambition, but it's the recovery and the redemption of a season that was going really the wrong way. If he keeps them progressing in the Champions League and takes them deep into the tournament, past the 16, into the eights, right, then United will get some financial benefit from that. And Raniak will be in the box seat. So it's inconceivable to me for anyone to look outside and go, nah, 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 he's not going to get well, it. Well, from second to fourth, and he's going to get the job. Okay. From second to fourth, what? They finished second in the Premier League last year. They're yeah, not going to finish not, above you're not, fourth. You're not listening, you're not following the logic. Oh, they what, might have had what, a little bit of a spell under was, What he inherited was the same thing that, that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer inherited, that everyone gave him so much praise for, which was a ship that was was uh, was, was was basically marooned. It was in a terrible condition when, when Solskjaer... Run aground. Went, run aground, that's exactly right. So when we go in there, you've just got smashed to pieces by Watford. You've got the players and the manager walking over to the fans, gesticulating from the mm. most pathetic position you've ever seen. Yeah. So you had to come into that. You've got a club in disarray. You've got the chief executive going out the door, right? So everything needs to be settled down. Ranić is going to settle it down. Mm. Has settled sort it down. The, sort the style of football off. If they finish third or fourth in the league, they won't finish third because they won't be better than Chelsea because no. Chelsea are in a better condition and they won't be better than Liverpool or Man City. If they finish fourth and recover the position and go deep in the Champions League, this man will be in the mix. He hasn't come there to be a consultant. He's come there to be the manager of Manchester United. He's told you as much. So he's not mm. going to muck about. And these two decisions... I hope he gets these it. Two, so, do, so do I. And I think there's a really good chance he will get You hope it. he gets it, Trev. I hope he gets it because he's gone in there. Uh, he's he's he, 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 in this one. A, a little bit, but seriously, he's gone in there. He's got a style of football. And if Manchester United want to close that gap to the rest of the teams, they've got to play a pressing football. And he is the king of pressing football. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.